Um, a lot of people, uh, a lot of managers, but there's a lot of pundits as well, uh, making a lot of comments about the importance of body language at the moment, um, good, bad or indifferent. Is that something that you swear by, you think is important in, when you see in your players, or do you not bother by it, bothered by it, and what's your reasons for it, either way? Yeah, of course it's that important. It gives an, uh, an expression, and we talk about uh, about this issue with the players, so with the team, but also players individual, what is uh, the, the impact on, yeah, on, on the crowd, uh, but also on the opponents, uh, what is, uh, because football is a psychological game, uh, win or lose, and so you have to take everything, uh, you have to take in your advantage, and yeah, so when your body language and that expression can be positive, and you use it positive, and you lift your own team. Have, have you seen any indications recently, because a lot of people have highlighted it, and former internationals, when it's been the other way, when it's been... Have you seen anything in body language in your players that's concerned you in recent weeks, no. when it's what? not been going for you? <laughs> so, um, what, you, what you see is that a character of a player, I, and that you often you see expresses in his um, in his body language, and that is not a thing you can change uh, in in a short time. But what I have seen, and uh, that um, I think Bruno is a good example. Hey, he wants to win, uh, and he shows his emotion, and that is an absolutely strength from him uh, to push his own team. And he shows he wants to win, so that other others around him they pick it up and they go and fight with him. Hi Eric, on to Jim's comments about knocking Manchester City off their perch within three years, as a manager is it helpful to you to have the owner making such bold ambitions in public or, or does it kind of add to the pressure to you and what do you need to go and make it happen because obviously it's, you know, he's made that comment but it's kind of on you as well I guess to, mm. to make it a reality for him. Yeah, but what did I say when I started here? <laughs> Yeah, it helps and we have to show ambition and we want to be the best and that is what, the, what United stands for. Uh, but at the same time we know also where we are now, uh, but we also have seen that, uh, that we have moments and we go toe to toe. And so and that's belief we have as a team and we, uh, we have to pick up these moments and we have to prove it. Uh, in every game, and I think we are able to, and with this squad we have, that um, you know, we can go toe to toe with them. And uh, the short history uh, it shows, but also, yeah, at this moment I have a lot of respect for them, but not the respect that we think uh, we can't win this game. Eh? On the contrary, uh, we will show that we can win this game. And as you see in the cup final, we showed we were very close. Uh, last um, uh, January in Old Trafford, we were very close. We were also first half uh, in Old Trafford in the home game, and before uh, that crazy VR moment changes the game completely. And then the second half, uh, we didn't play well, and they play very well. And so don't let them come into their game. Uh, that is, uh, yeah, I think what we have to take with us when we go in the game for Sunday. Can you do it within three years? Can you knock them off their perch within three years? I, I don't always think in such time shadows. I want to win in every year. I want to win in every game. Simon. Uh, Eric, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, before the, the, the last derby at Old Trafford, uh, Pep Guardiola said that Manchester United aren't Manchester City's biggest rivals, that Liverpool have been, become Manchester City's biggest rivals. Is that unacceptable for a club like this? And, and did you believe him when he, when he said that? I, I think... So the last decade, eh, it, that is um, yeah, the way it went. And I think it's, uh, it's a fair assessment, uh, but uh, we, we can't accept this as a club. Eh? And we have to bounce back. And as Sir James says, we have, to, uh, uh, we have to show ambition. And we want to be the number one. And I think that's a good ambition. And now uh, get the strategies and get uh, the strong bound uh, to get this done. A lot of United fans aren't looking forward to this game because of what happened at the Etihad last season. Can, can you promise them a different Manchester United this time? 
I, I never understand such questions. Uh, because that was last season, and nothing to do with this season. Uh, the next game, so you can also say, uh, I look back to uh, the home game in Old Trafford, we won. Uh, so uh, it doesn't make sense to talk about this. Pep Guardiola has talked about City success and how other teams admire it and maybe try and copy it, copy their way. Do you see some of that at United, in particular? With I mean, <laughs> do you see that trying to copy their way of success? Omar is here already from City. Do you think that that's fair that people will try and copy how they do it? I think you can um, you can always learn uh, from from opponents who are successful. And uh, you, you have to do it if you want to go into high levels. But at the same time, uh, we have to do it in a united way. Uh, this is a different club uh, with a different environment, with a different DNA. And but that you pick up things what are, can be successful and you integrate it in your own model. Yeah, very good. Uh, Will. Um, hi, Eric. Obviously, Andre Nana's had quite... A, a Please time. louder. Andre Nana's had quite a long time to settle in at United now. He's got the African Cup of Nations out of the way. Do you think he is fully focused on United now and can, you know, can move forward and be more, you know, bring the stability that you need in goal? I think he's doing, he's doing very well. If I uh, assess his season so far, uh, um, I think he's um, adapted to the Premier League. And I think he has very good performances in the Premier League. Uh, and what you see, he's progressing. And uh, I think he's doing very well lately. Uh, f f very good performances. So he has to see this as a base and step up from here. And I think everyone seeing now how um, yeah, he's a very good goalkeeper. And, but he, uh, he needs a challenge. And, uh, uh, and from these challenges, he progressed. And that is what I see in this moment when I see him keeping uh, across the season.